For the second year in a row, Cuyuna Lakes is hosting the annual Cuyuna Lakes Crusher Race this weekend. Now, Logan Gay went and talked to the coordinators about their big expectations for this big event. The Cuyuna Lakes Crusher Race was not awarded the Race of the Year award for nothing. With over 500 mountain bike riders racing for two days straight, this big race is going to end the summer with a bang. And this is actually our second year partnering with the Minnesota Mountain Bike Series. Uh, we're race number eight in their series of races this year, so really excited to be a part of um, the Minnesota Mountain Bike Series. The first race starts on Saturday at 9 a.m., and they plan to have several other events throughout the day. In the evening, we have an awards party Crusher Happy Hour event happen happening in the Crosby Memorial Park from 5 to 8. So we have some live music by Jackson and the Roosters, a really fun band. Um, some food, beer, wine, and a free kids race for the smaller kids happening too. And it's the unique trails all across the Crosby Ironton area that continue to attract bikers and big events to this location. There's a 25 mile trail network that's a national destination and so if you come up here during the day you'll see cars from Vermont and Mississippi and Missouri and Canada and California. People are riding from all, or coming from all over the country to ride mountain bikes here because it's such a cool place. Not only does the Cuyuna Crusher bring in additional money to the city, but it also encourages people to get outside and have some fun. With the advent of video games and social media, uh, kids aren't getting outside like they used to, and they're certainly not getting on bikes like they used to, and so that's why we want to change that. We want to offer this as a good, safe, recreational outlet. And bikers can register for the race at Crosby City Park. In Ironton, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. On Sunday, the Cuyuna Crusher plans to have a haul race and will award cash and medals to the winners. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.